Hello all, welcome to IQ Pop. This lecture is on standard input output in C. So why this is called standard? Because in computer there is two standard input and output device. Standard input device is the keyboard and standard output device is the monitor. So here in C there is two function which are uh, associate with these two devices uh, so they are called as standard input output function so standard input output functions uh, resides in stdio.h standard std stands for standard i for input o for output dot h h for header file so usually at the beginning of C code we write hash include standard IO dot H which, which means we include standard IO dot H file to our C code so that our code can use the standard input output functions. So what are these standard input output function? They are printf and scanf. So standard output function is printf printf uh, is a standard output function because it prints something or displays something on the standard output device that is the computer screen here is a sample code uh, to display a number on the screen say that number n equal to 5 so I will uh, use code block to demonstrate the same so, file new empty file file save file as std function save it at the beginning what we do hash include stdio dot h then int main open and close main packet return zero now we had int n equal to say 5 next we print f we'll put n equal to person d comma mm, what is the n so here <coughs> print f will display mm, that thing n equal to percent d percent d means it it is a format specifier for integer so that our computer lets know that it will print some value some integer value for this percent d now it will search for which integer value so we gave here comma n so it will understand that it uh, this person person d have to be replaced by the value of n so which is 5 now let's compile it it is compiled run it okay so it is displaying n equal to 5 so here we learn two things one is print f the syntax of print f is print f opening bracket and closing bracket and in c everything or every instruction is terminated by a semicolon so it is terminated by semicolon and uh, if we dis want to display something whatever we want to display that should be in double quote so it is there okay so I'll go back to the slide now standard input function so standard input function is scanf it takes any input 
through keyboard only only through keyboard now if you go to the code what was there n equal to 5 we had fixed but uh, usually code program should not be like that program should be dynamic so that value of n we should be able to give through the keyboard then only we will use the code right so declare n only the variable n printf sorry enter the value of n now the, it will display on the screen enter the value of n and the user will enter some value now we have to read the value as a input from the keyword so for that thing scan it scan it okay this is the syntax of scan it so how many integer we are going to take as input one integer so for integer what is the format specifier percent d where it should save the input integer it should be saved in n or should be assigned to n so we'll write ambersand n so it is basically address of n we write like this ambersand n okay so it will take the input from the keyboard next this printf will again display the input value whatever given on the next line okay so for as we need to display it in the next line slash n will keep here so that uh, slash n stands for new line so let's see what happens okay compile it okay enter value of n so say we enter 8 enter so n equal to 8 so as you had given if you compare it so enter value of n enter a value of n is displayed we have given 8 as an input next uh, okay this 8 is read by the scanf next new line so it came here n equal to percent d n so n equal to 8 is displayed here okay decimal points okay so let's do something uh, there is a variable type a data type called float okay so we converted or changed into float so it will be floating type so for format specifier for floating type variable is percent f okay and i'm keeping it for playing let's compile compile so it is asking for some value of n say we are giving 8.6 what it is happening n equal to something like this reason is reason is we are displaying integer but we have taken floating point number as input so let's change this percent d to percent f so we are taking floating point number n is floating point num variable and we are displaying floating point variable now see compile and run what input say 9.4 enter say 9.4000 these are decimal places by default set in C compiler, so it is coming. Okay. So close it. Yeah. Now uh, calculate simple interest. So we have to write a C program to calculate simple interest. So if we want to calculate a simple interest, what are the things we need to take as input from the user? so we want to we want to calculate 
a that is the assured amount which is principal plus interest after a certain time period t okay so a we are going to calculate and we have to take from the user is principal amount um, rate of interest we should know and uh, time period for that okay so let's do it plot say <laughs> p is the principal amount rate of interest say take uh, r mm, term say t okay and we are going to calculate the assured value a so what is the first now compile it no error run it enter principal amount say 2 lakhs interest rate say 7 percent term say 5 years assured is assured value is okay i had given uh, 20,000 so assured value is after 5 years 27,000 it is calculated and giving as output okay so <laughs> That's, I'm taking a new one, file, new, empty file, file, save file as, care, test, hash, include, stdio.h in main mm. when you do take some care say the variable name is uh, uh, d not d say r Okay. Yeah. Print F. Enter a character. Scan F. percent C comma number shand R print F you have entered percent C so where it is, it is in R, semicolon. Compile it, no error, run it, enter a character, say EU, you have entered EU. So this is the way how to take character input. Now, if we need to take multiple character input to the, what will happen? Okay, say R1, okay, R1, one variable, another is the T. Control C, Control V. So we can convert all the R to T here. Okay. Compile it, run it. So first character input I'm giving A. What happened? You have entered A, next character you have entered nothing, right? So it is not taking the second character input. So th there is an issue with it. I will discuss it later why it is not taking. But for the time being, I will give you the solution. If we give here a space, then it will work. Compile it, run it, give A, you have entered A, enter a character, and now I am entering B. 
you have entered B. Now it is working, right? So if consecutively two characters you need to take as input, for the next time onwards, you should keep a space here before person C. So why does it work? That is another issue I will discuss on later lecture. Now print ASCII code of an input. Uh, we simply do person D instead of uh, person C. The ASCII code. The ASCII code of person C is person G R comma another R. Okay, so when we will write person C, this R will uh, be displayed as character, when person D, this R will be displayed as uh, ASCII code of the character input what we have given. So compile it, no error, run it. So I can take it here, okay. So say you are giving A as input, say R. Compile it, no error, run it give a as input ascii code of a is 97 okay when i'm writing percent c it is sh showing the value of a sorry value of r is a when i'm writing percent d it is showing value of r is ascii code of a that is 97. here are the uh, different format specifier used for uh, different kind of data so for care, uh, unsigned care, person C, person D, person F, we have see already seen. There is other kind of uh, long and double, long for uh, larger integer and double for uh, larger floating point number. And uh, unsigned integer is person Q. Later on we will discuss all these things in detail when we will discuss uh, data types. So C programs are collection of statements. So there is two kind of statement, simple statement and complex statement. So when you write this kind of thing, say some variable equal to some number or some something like this or a, a single print tape. So these are called sim simple statement. <laughs> it may be compound statement. So if a statement have a body or block, then we call them as a compound statement, like lo logical units or which is surrounded by braces, as I was told. So if then else when we will study all these things the loops then you will find that they are complex so thank you for watching like share and subscribe